Dragon Age Inquisition was rated M for Mature by the ESRB and contains blood, intense violence, nudity, sexual content, and strong language. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, my name is Emma Ronit, and I play games for the internet, and today we're playing Dragon Age Inquisition. Last time, we fought our first dragon. Yes, first. Not only first. Nope, come on. Ooh, -er. yum. All right, now we're gonna just snoop around a little bit here. Now that you know, no dragon. Slightly safer. to the Imperial Court. That's a fancy title. How very observant. Why aren't you holed up with the Empress in Halam Shiral? Grand Duke Gaspard laid siege to the city while I was attending to business for the Circle. Lucky for you, I guess. The Circle shattered, the Empire is at war, and the Divine is dead. Only an imbecile would consider this lucky. Rude. I mean, yes, she has a point, but also rude. Be nice to my friend, Viv. Lots of obsidian. Oh, there it is. Hastily scrawled note hung on a post. Stay away, too many beasts. Go home to your families and live. Uh, Vivienne. Vivienne. Thank you. Mm-hmm. List of supplies. A list of, of supplies for a great deal of lumber, along with rope, pulleys, tar, nails, and waterproofing oils. It appears to be a list of items need to construct a dock. Ooh. Ah. Uh. So, I imagine that those Carta, the, those dwarves that we saw before, when Varric repeatedly was like, what are they doing here? What are they doing here? Uh, came through this way. Oh... Um, See, here's one of the problems. It's certainly there, but we can't get to it. Okay. Yes, I know. So I'm pretty sure we've basically got a lot of uh, the hinterlands covered. Finally. Uh, if not most of it, 
repair, I believe, the thing we need Felandaris for. Because we haven't picked up any. Loot. Oh. Oh no. That's a... I cannot remember the name. It's not a truffalo. It's the other thing. God damn it. But, yeah, so, with all that said, yeah, literally only this letter from a lover done it needs to be done, and we can't do that. Let's, uh, head back to Skyhold. Okay. Yeah, there are ten dragons for us to kill. Hmm? We don't have everything on the, the coast. <sighs> right, I still need to do the thing for Sarah. Make a nose what got into the little rat catcher. Hi, Bull. Hmm? Come on, Krim. I'm working my ass off trying to get you to see that move. You still got plenty of ass left, Chief. Uh, Your Worship. Glad you came hey, buddy. by. I got a letter from my contacts in the Ben Hasra. Already verified it with red. Should this be private? You want to discuss this alone? Not like I was hiding it from my boys. Besides, right now, I need to hit something. You know they've got training dummies, Chief. The training dummy might actually defend itself against the shield bash. Anyway, the Ben Hasrath letter. What's in the letter? What did the letter say? The Ben Hasrath have been reading my reports. They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. Does anyone? And they really don't like Red Lyrium. Does anyone? They're ready to work with us. With you, boss. The Canari and the Inquisition. Joining forces. Okay. That could be a powerful alliance. My people have never made a full-blown alliance with a foreign power before. This would be a big step. They found a massive red lyrium shipping operation out on the coast. Yeah? They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Always wanted to see one of those big war ships in action. 
Did you see that? Go get some water. <laughs> Crime goes flying. They're worried about tipping the smugglers, so no army. My charges, you, maybe some backup. Okay, what are they offering? What does this alliance really get us? They wouldn't use the word alliance if they didn't mean it. Naval power. More Ben Hasrath reports. Gunari soldiers pointed at the Venatori. It could do a lot of good. Okay, but something's clearly bothering you. You don't seem entirely happy about this. No, I'm good. It's... Uh, I'm used to them being over there. It's been a while. You don't want them to spread? I thought Kanari wanted to extend their reach to the whole world. Yeah, just didn't think I'd see it. Look, the Kuhn answers a lot of questions. It's a good life for a lot of people. But it's a big change, and a lot of folks here wouldn't do so well under that kind of life. I guess it's not like we're converting. This is just us joining forces against Corypheus. On that front, I think we're good. All right. I think the Inquisition could use some help from the Canari. Good. I'll pass on word to Colin and Red. We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. Hmm. Hey, Cassandra. Hmm? Book. Ah, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you embarrassed? Wait, are you blushing? What would I have to blush about? You tell me. It's of no interest to you, I'm certain. It's a book. I can see that. <laughs> it's one of Varric's tales. Swords and shields. The latest chapter. You don't need to hide that. So you like to read. What's wrong with that? It's frivolous. There are more important things for me to do. That's just her favorite. Nobody <laughs> asked you, Tavinta. <laughs> I couldn't finish the last one you lent me. I actually feel dumber for having tried. <laughs> Oof. It's literature. Smutty literature. Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. He'd be pleased. Why not? I think Varric would be pleased to have another fan. Pleased? Yes, that's one word for it. They're terrible. And magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. You... You could ask him to finish it. Command him to... Pretend you don't know this about me. <laughs> Cassandra is such a mood. <laughs> I feel this way also about some of the romance novels that I have read in my time. In the meantime, however... Ah, okay. From Haven's fire come we the able true to skyhold now a fortress strong and free. We wrap Hey Sutherland. What's a good word? Her, it was amazing. <clears throat> Sorry, slow down. Your quartermaster outfitted me, and I got trained to hunt the bandits near my home in your name. I hired Voth here. Don't tell anyone, but he's a, a mage. A good one though. Thank you for trusting me, Your Worship. I'll pay you back, I swear. Hmm. Keep training, recruit. Good work. Keep with the training. We'll need every hand. Yes. Yes, Your Worship. We'll do just that. Won't we, Voth? He doesn't speak, but he's thankful too. Hmm. Okay. Uh, take. I'll talk to you later, Sarah. Uh, is there anything new? 
Nope. Something like that. I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. Oh, air. The Hello. Inquisitor. Is anything we can do? Just ask. She hurts, but helping hurts more. She sees the strings that pull me, eyes like raisins in a stale cookie. You've done more odd things. The servants are having some trouble remembering some odd events. You stole cheese and mints? Someone stole an entire cheese wheel. Mice like cheese. Do mice also like bowls of crushed mint? That was for the cats. You're making the cats play. So the cheese lures the mice, and the mice lure the cats, and then they smell the mint? Mint makes the cats dance and play. Let's talk about something else. All right. Hmm. I'll talk to you later. Probably. Okay. So we haven't figured out what the cat's dancing and playing does yet. Alright. Uh. Inquisitor! Come, have a drink! To killing a high dragon like warriors of legend! What's this? What exactly am I supposed to be drinking? Maras Lok. What does that mean? It means drink! <laughs> Alright. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Put some chest on your chest. <laughs> um, that little gurgle right before it spat fire. And that roar, what I wouldn't give to roar like that. The way the ground shook when it landed. The smell of the fires burning. Tarsidathan Halsam. You know, Kunari hold dragons sacred. Well, as much as we hold anything sacred. <laughs> yeah. Here, your turn. What was that Kunari phrase? That thing you just said. You shouted it during the fight, too. What does it mean? Oh, Tarsadathan Halsam. Closest translation would be, I will bring myself sexual pleasure later, while thinking about this with great respect. <laughs> you shouted that while it was breathing fire at us? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> the iron pole in the middle of a dragon fight. I am looking respectfully. <laughs> You think it'd be easier the second time? Yes, the second cup's easier. Is it? <laughs> Most of the nerves in your throat are dead after the first one. Atashi, the glorious ones. That's our word for them. Atashi. So, why are dragons sacred? Why do you think the Kanari think of dragons that way? Well, you know how we have horns. We yeah. Kind of look more dragony than most people. Yeah. Maybe it's that. But a few of the Ben Hasrath have this crazy old theory. See, <clears throat> the Tamasrans control who we mate with. Oh. They breed us for jobs like you'd breed dogs or horses. Huh. What if they mixed in some dragon a long time ago? Oh. Maybe drinking the blood. Maybe magic. I don't know. But something in that dragon we killed Oh, to me. I'm almost sorry we had to kill it. It's a shame we had to kill the dragon. Damn good fight. Dragons are the embodiment of raw power. But it's all uncontrolled. Savage. Mm -hmm. So, they need to be destroyed. Taming the wild. Order out of chaos. <laughs> Have another drink. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> oh, poor Revis. <laughs> nice. To dragons. Ah, <coughs> oh. 
<laughs> to the Iron Bull. To the Iron Bull. And his ass kicking Inquisitor. <laughs> Can I. Hey. Buddy. Jesus. Some people. Good to see you, boss. Yeah. See you later, Bo. Nice talking with you, boss. You're right there. Your worship. Uh, how can we use you? Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the chargers? Nothing jumps out at me. If I come up with any ideas, I'll let you know. Sure. Tell me about yourself. I wanted to talk about you, if that's all right. You know, I'm from Tevinter. I wasn't a slave, but even citizens have it rough if they're not majors. I was a soldier, but women joined the ranks under a different program. When they found out I was passing, it got ugly. I ran, met Bull near the border, and ended up here. Not a life I'd wish on everyone, but it'll do. Mm. Why do you pass? Ah. Why did you decide to live as a man? I didn't decide anything. I've been like this my whole life. My parents wanted me to marry up. They tried to find me a nice merchant's son. Every day, put on a dress, look into my father's shaving mirror, and just hate myself. Yeah, I feel that. Mm. What'd your family think? How did your family react when you started? My mother wanted to throw me out. She said if I didn't marry well, I was dooming the family to slavery. She was happy to take the money I set as a soldier, though. Not that it mattered in the end. My father. When I was little, he'd angle his mirror down so I could pretend to shave, just like him. He never said anything, but I think he knew. Would you change with magic? If you had the chance to use magic, would you change all the way? What? No. I don't want any magic like that within ten yards of my body. When I was younger... Ah, oh, I don't know. Everyone has silly dreams. In Tevinter, dreams like that get you killed. Bull helped me make a good life. Nice armor and a well-placed sock, and I'm happy. Hmm. What's Tevinter life like? What's Tevinter like for a citizen? Someone who isn't a slave or a mage? I'm of the Separati. Citizens who aren't mages. Mages are in charge and everyone knows it. But a wealthy merchant can have an easy life. At the low end, people just try to stay out of slavery. My father was a tailor. I joined the army after the Imperial slaves drove him under. How'd they do that? How did slaves drive your family out of business? My father made shirts, aprons, that kind of thing. Nothing fancy. One of the magisters had a pet project. To prevent the poor from dying of cold in the winter. Nice, right? He had Imperial slaves making simple peasant clothes and selling them for almost nothing. That magister's nice idea put out slave-made clothes at prices my father couldn't match. Slave labor. Lovely. It's difficult to compete with someone who doesn't get paid. That's Tevinter. My father sold himself into slavery. He's one of the service publicus. The Imperium owns slaves now. How did you end up leaving? You said you left Tevinter when they discovered your secret. Women are allowed to serve, but only in certain ranks and disciplines. I was up for promotion, but the healer I'd bribed to sign off on my physical had to turn to a sick magister. When the replacement healer saw what was or wasn't in my pants, he made threats. It was slavery or death, so I knocked him out and ran. Passing's illegal? It's against the law to pass as a man. It's a crime to lie on an imperial application for service. It would have been a heavy fine or slavery. For ten silvers, the healer said he'd tell the tribune I was sick in the head. Some pity for the mad little girl. That was when I hit him. I'd served for a few years. I was good at hitting. How'd you get away? I'm surprised you escaped from the Tevinter Imperium so easily. It's not like I lived in Minrathas. I was in Trevis, not far from the Navarran border. It helped that I was being chased as a deserter, not a runaway slave. Slave hunters only get paid for what they catch. They're efficient bastards. See you later, Krim. We'll talk later. So, like... I appreciate that there is so, like, such space. Helpful. A, 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 
that there's a a storyline like this Inquisitor. in the game. I do. Because way back when this game first came out, it wasn't a thing that would, was done in video games. If you wanted something like this, you didn't get it nicely, if that makes any sense. It wasn't done. Not really. Oh, upgrade. Herb garden. Well, or chantry garden. Uh, but um, before I get distra too distracted. So even if this is imperfect, we'll call it, it's still miles better than what we were getting at the time. This is one of those things where it's like... Where... <laughs> it's not the best representation we could hope for ever. Uh, and it's amazing representation for what we got at the time. It's one, one of those moments where, like, the two uh, situations are not mutually exclusive, I, I believe is the way it's put. Kind of like how Buffy the Vampire Slayer was seen as being very, very progressive in, you know, the, the 90s and early 2000s, and as time has gotten on and things have gotten more progressive, it, you look back on it and it's like, mmm, this is not very feminist at all, is it? But, uh, mm. So on, so forth. Now, upgrading the garden, it could be a chantry garden, uh, bringing hope to all who seek it, a functional upgrade that brings a potential resource gain from in the inspired, including gold from tithes, or herb garden utility and comfort, upgrades the garden by committing the space to simple greenery and cultivation, a functional change that allows more herbs to be harvested. We want this one. This choice is irreversible, yes, but herb garden. Skyhold garden. Uh, this is too long for me to read. Don't wanna. Oh, patron of the arts. Okay. Okay. Rare. Yeah. So this bit is all Dawn Lotus. Um, these three are all going to be Dawn Lotus. These uh, I'm gonna make Elf Root. Because if you change one of the pots, you change that group of three. Hello, Mother Giselle. Um... Is there anything I can talk to you about, Mother Giselle? Herald of Andraste. Can I help with anything? Is there anything I can do to help you or your people? My healers would benefit from more supplies. We have run short of even common goods with so many wounded. If you could deliver this list and the items on it to Quartermaster Thren, uh, she could get us what we need. Did I not? It not seem like much, but it would Thren's not the Quartermaster anymore. Realize. Okay. Farewell. Be well, Inquisitor. Okay. Where? Here. Uh. Hmm. Also. Stone Man Inquisitor. Hi, can you interpret the meaning? Do you have any insight into the stories these tiles are supposed to depict? Here you go, Inquisitor. I wrote up some thoughts. Hope it adds to the effort. Thank you. So now we've got everything for the fall. <sighs> Hello, Solus. Ooh, one more copy.
Yes. Hello, dears. Here we are again. Hmm. I should go. You know where I'll be. Indeed. Here we go. Hello, Vivian. Yes. Ah, uh, never mind. So what's? Ah, I have to talk to Varric. I see. But yeah, here is the hall of the fall. It's very pretty. And there's the one pick that we picked up of the other one. Uh, okay. Yes. Oh, thank you, game. Please. So, hey, Varric. What can I do for you, Inquisitor? So, Cassandra wants a book. Cassandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. She's a big fan. She's a pretty big fan, in fact. Are we talking about the same Cassandra? Tall, grumpy seeker, like stabbing things? Wait, did you say the romance serial? Oh, she'll be waiting for a while then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. <gasps> that book is easily the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. Well, Cassandra seems to like it. Do I need it as a gift? Cassandra likes it. Well, Cassandra seems to be hooked on it. And I honestly thought a hole in the sky was the weirdest thing that could happen. So, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial for Cassandra? Yes. Oh, that's such a terrible idea. I have to do it. On one condition, I get to be there when you give her the book. Sure. You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. Revis, what are you doing? Okay. And with Varric having done the fastest... Oh, game, please. Game. Game, please. With Varric doing the fastest write-up job and print job... What have you done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. Oh, is that? This is your doing. That's a bit. That's Aveline on the cover. I mean, none other. Oh, yes. Do you really think I'd miss this? Well, if you're not interested, you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the night captain after the last chapter. <gasps> Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. Well, it turns out the guardsman... Don't tell me! <laughs> <clears throat> this is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. Yay! I... Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. This was everything I'd hoped. I know how you feel. I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. Rude! Oh, completely worth it. <laughs> Let's leave Cassandra to her book. I know I don't like being interrupted. Uh, but with that done...
Let's worship. Hello. Hey, Josephine. Anything new? Sister Lily. Oops. And what else did Lady Forsythia say? That she'd rather drown herself than help the Inquisition. Hmm. Anything else? She said she'd have us flogged alive if we allied with her brother. That does sound like her. Cheer up, Josie. We at least have her attention. You always do find the brighter side of things. Liliana? We are in the midst of cementing an alliance with Lady Porcythia of Nevara, your worship. It's become a somewhat delicate task. Can... Can I help? Can I do anything to help negotiations? Uh, thank you, but I believe I have matters in hand. I dissuaded her from sending soldiers when she learned we'd struck an accord with a brother she's feuding with. Lady Porcythia simply employs a colorful manner of speech. That's putting it mildly. You're rather good-natured about threats of death and dismemberment. They are chiefly bluster, Inquisitor. Most of them. But I confess I do miss my staff from the embassy in Antifa. It was always useful to discuss the day's visitors with them. Well, talk about them with me. I have time. If you'd like to review things with me. I wouldn't wish to impose. If it were imposing, I wouldn't have offered. Well, I admit, there are a few potential alliances it would be good to discuss. Right on the parlor floor. <gasps> For everyone at the soiree. No! Who does such a thing in front of their guests? The Duke of Kellington, apparently. And then there's cold lurking. It frightens our guests half to death. Lord Genar still won't respond to our letters. And Sarah, can she not find a single overshirt with that mustard taint on it? Then there's Dorian. The man refuses to take anything seriously unless it suits his whim. Not to mention... Oh, oh goodness. Have we been here an hour already? I mean, I didn't think about it. It went by so quickly, I didn't even notice. You're far too polite. I didn't intend to go on for so long. You must think me quite the gossip. You needed a break. You've been working continually since I met you, Josephine. And that can't stop. I must be going. But I leave feeling less troubled than I have in weeks. Yay! Friendship! Okay. Uh, is there anything? Okay. Woo! Really? So, even though we completed that mission, we're still gonna find books everywhere. Done. in disgrace. Oh! Alexius is Liliana's. Okay. It was abandoned when we arrived. Who named this place Skyhold? Solus says it changed hands so many times the original builders can't be traced. I read the House of Armitage once built a fortress in the vicinity five ages ago, but the records are lost. Masash's method... Hmm. 
Clement the Tranquil is one of Cullen's, so our Avar friend is in, in is one of Josephine's. Amazing. Okay. Can you arrange what we discussed earlier, Ambassador? I found the money. The Inquisition will compensate the families of those we lost at Haven. Thank you. Well, Dorian's request. Dorian's leads were effective. The Inquisition found several locations which, where these venatori could be hiding. Advanced camps, purpose unknown. If you wish to deal with these mages, I'm certain Dorian would be pleased. I'll mark the locations on your map, should you pass by any on your travels. Scout Haven Ruins. Inquisitor. While most of Haven has been destroyed, the Chargers recovered some lost gear still intact, along with enemy corpses that might yield information about what we're up against. More importantly, the assistance of Ferelden forces enabled the Chargers to rescue refugees who had not yet heard what happened at, uh, what happened at Haven. My troops brought them in safely, in addition to the farmers. You'd expect there are several skilled craftsmen and even some soldiers. After seeing the devastation wrought at Haven, they are eager to help the Inquisition. Lieutenant Cremesius Aclassi. Oh, locate heretic sister. We'll, we'll get to that. Locate weapon of Tirida Brightax. <clears throat> Inquisitor, I have no idea what to say. Scholars have debated whether Tirida's legendary axe was an axe set with crystal, an axe with a magically reinforced crystalline head, or perhaps even just a very polished axe. But apparently, the word translated from the ancient language commonly taken to be axe, in fact merely means hafted weapon. It is possible that translation of the saga have been edited to omit evidence that Trita was a bright axe, may have been using what seems from all appearances to be a staff, as would more commonly be used by a mage. I apologize for my confusion in this matter. I will endeavor to be more diligent in my translation in the future. Uh, yours, Sister Dorcas Guerin. Nice! Uh... So, locate Heretic's sister, celebrate the dragon slaying. Hmm. Word has spread about the dragon and the Inquisitor killed, and it passed on by Josephine. Tell me you sent soldiers to collect the grisly remains. We have nobles clamoring to see the head up close. I should have anticipated this. Gawking is for peasants, but it becomes civilized when done with a glass of wine in one hand and a fan in the other. And another from Ferelden signed Heron. My associate Wade is known throughout Athedas for his talent at capturing the glory of the draconic in the armor he makes. The scarcity of dragon scale means that Wade is all too rarely afforded the chance to work in his chosen medium. But here's a solution. Wade shares his expertise with the Inquisition in exchange for the dragon materials collected so far. Okay. Alright. I will come back to that maybe. Uh, locate Heretic's sister. Inquisitor. Refugees lo rescued from Haven told some fascinating stories, most notably one in which a wandering Chantry sister informed them that Corypheus was the true herald of Andraste, that he had been chosen to redeem the sins of man. The refugees remained faithful, but reported that this woman, either a madwoman or a venatory agent, convinced others. It might be worth our time to si find this supposed Chantry sister. Uh, Josephine says, regardless of what the Chantry thinks of the Inquisition, they will be eager to stamp out this heresy if we ask for assistance finding the rogue sister or from Liliana, it will be we, we will easily track down a Chantry sister saying such things in public. Hang on. Hmm. Another I will uh, investigate later. Okay. My god. I keep finding all the ones that are like, oh, no, we don't doesn't matter which one you used. Hmm. Madame Ambassador, 
Words cannot express my gratitude for your gracious hospitality at Skyhold. After the events at Haven, one can hardly go anywhere in the Empire without hearing the word Inquisition. I shall be glad to have some facts to add to the wild rumors. I am as grieved as you to hear the vicious slander being spread. Justinia V was the best of us. It pains me to think that others would pollute her legacy in such a manner. I travel to Valforet soon. I shall ensure my cousins know the truth of this matter. Sincerely, Comte Renaud de Morier. And Josephine says, now that he's been here, we should talk to the nobles he's been seen with and let them all know. At your service. Okay. Yes, let's do this for Sarah. Commander, we have verified Sarah's claims about Rochelle. Several displacements of refugees were deliberate in what appears to be an attempt to destabilize land claims. While there would be no direct gain for involving the Inquisition, increasing our presence could have unexpected results. In any case, it is tri a trivial manner to devote troops to march through the city. Lieutenant Estelle. Cullen says a, repres a retinue of our best will make an impression. Inquisitor. Yes, and Judgment, the magic used in Redcliffe. Alexius has been put to work as a magical researcher for the Inquisition. The spell he used in Redcliffe was incredibly complex. Even if he doesn't understand all the theory behind it, meh. but he has confessed it was only possible to cast because of the breach. Because the breach had thin, has thinned the veil, Alexius can look into applications of the theory for safer use. Inquisitor. All right. The Hunter Shade Dracolisk. Okay, Race and Evangeline. Quell and Rest and Sprog. Hmm. One way or the other. Let's, uh... Oof. Alright. Do I need a cruise? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Actually. Alright. I'm going to go drop off a bunch of stuff. in the storage chest, sell off a bunch of <sighs> treasure, enough dragon bone.
All right. Now that that's all done, I'll stop it here. And I will see you next time when what we do, actually, uh, let's go do Demands of the Cune with Bull. I'm going to get that out of the way. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves. Be safe. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.